This is Lisa Lord with the Longleaf Alliance's 3-Minute Management with some tips for burning young longleaf pine. When managing young longleaf, fire is our most effective and least costly tool for controlling competing vegetation, promoting plant diversity, reducing fuel, controlling insects and diseases, and creating great wildlife habitat. The Longleaf Alliance offers these suggestions to landowners trying to determine how to best burn without damaging their young longleaf stand. Throughout much of its life cycle, longleaf pine is resistant to fire and withstands fire better than any other type of southern pine, but poorly planned or executed fires can damage or kill young longleaf. Longleaf pine is fire adapted, but certainly not fireproof. Incorporating prescribed fire early into your longleaf management is critical to meeting your management goals. Tree size and vigor, firing techniques, fuel availability, timing, and weather are all key factors that will influence the success of burning a young stand. Avoid burning when the longleaf seedlings are less than one year old and have not yet developed into vigorous grass stage seedlings. Never burn seedlings that appear to be under stress. If the root collar diameter is greater than 4 tenths of an inch, the grass stage seedlings can usually survive exposure to low intensity fires. Another time when extra care is needed is burning young longleaf in the rocket stage. That is, between the grass stage up to about 6 feet tall and less than 2 inches in diameter at the root collar. Also delay burns when the longleaf are sending up their new growth or candles, as these new white candles can be easily killed by fire. They are much better protected when they are again covered in fully elongated green needles later in the spring. Remember, once the seedlings are over two inches in diameter and over six feet tall, they are much more resistant to fire under the proper conditions. Ideal burning conditions for young longleaf are when light fuels are present and the air temperature is colder than 45 degrees. If you need to burn to control competition or to meet other management goals after the trees have sent up their new white candles, do so after the candles harden and are covered by new green needles in May or June. Burning when the air temperature is over 80 degrees, winds are less than 5 miles per hour, or the relative humidity is lower than 25% can increase mortality. In stands of young longleaf, firing technique is an important factor. For stands with longleaf that is less than six feet tall or have less than two inches at root collar diameter, use strip head and point source or grid ignition patterns to keep the fire from damaging young trees. Backing fires can be used to secure the downwind line, but should be avoided along with severe head and ring ignition patterns that can build up too much steam and threaten young trees in the stand. Once longleaf exceeds two inches at root collar diameter, backing fires can be used throughout the stand. For more information on burning young longleaf, go to the Longleaf Alliance's brand new website and look for the publication, The Pine That Fire Built. And as always, feel free to contact us directly if you need more information. This is Lisa Lord with the Longleaf Alliance's 3-Minute Management.